After running away from home, Ron traveled across the United States. He hitchhiked around the country with his trusty pet, Delicious, by his side at all times. Times looked hard for Ron until one day. As he was traveling down a deserted road in the south, he ran across the shadowy figure. The shadowy figure told him to travel about another mile where he'd meet another shadowy figure. Ron pursued this chance to meet a second shadowy figure, seeing as he was so enthralled with one. Ron waited at the crossroads for several hours. He was about to give up when a Yugo with a loud exhaust pulled up. The shadowy figure got out of the Yugo and told him he would make him the world's best violin player if he signed his soul over to him. Ron thought about this and tried bargaining with this shadowy figure. They eventually agreed on Rob giving the figure Delicious. Ron thought it was a hell of a bargain, seeing as Delicious just kind of laid there. Ron was very excited about this deal. There was only one problem though, he didn't have a violin. Ron decided he was going to work to save up for one. With Kova out of his hair, he'd be able to focus on this job. He got a job at a roadside taco stand, working 14 hours a day. The day finally came when Ron received his first paycheck. It was minuscule. Fifteen years later, he had saved up enough for a violin. He traveled to town in search for a music shop. He had at last found a violin. As he was walking outside of the store with it, he suddenly was involved in a horrific accident involving Rainbow Jello, a 20-foot metal chain, an ocelot, and a 1954 Indian Chief motorcycle. The details of this accident are too horrific to speak of, so long story short, his violin ended up jamming into his eye.